Okay, so this is a pistol that I picked up today. And as you can see from the case, it is Phoenix Arms. And this is the HP-22A, which, and this is actually the deluxe range kit. So not only does it have the standard three inch barrel, it also has the optional five inch barrel. So let me swing this around and open it up. And as you can see here, there is a, a key lock for the case. So you can actually lock the case internally. And there is, um, well, the, it, the locking mechanism is internal as opposed to having something, uh, perhaps a little loop on the outside for uh, a padlock, which I've seen on some other cases. I can't honestly say that I've ever seen any other uh, kits like this with the lock actually integral to the, uh, the case. Alrighty, and this is pistol. As I said, I just picked this up today. And what I have learned about this so far is that this is probably the most unintuitive pistol that I have ever seen in my life. Uh, it seems as if they've gone a little overboard with the safeties and safety features here. In my opinion, to the point that I would never recommend this as a self-defense or a home defense weapon. There are just too many moving parts, too many things to remember to do before you can even load, unload, cock it, or whatever the case might be. Um, but as a target pistol or something that you might want to, I don't know, take out on the range just plinking, or uh, if you, if you want to use it as a camp gun just to plink around a little bit, it might uh, be fine for that. But in terms of home defense, honestly, I would never recommend this. As I said, simply because it has too many moving parts, too many things to remember to do in order to get it into a firing situation. Okay, and it has this lock here um, for the magazine. There's a magazine lock here so that you can't load a magazine or anything like that. And this also has a um, magazine. The magazine has to be in there before you can fire it. So there's a magazine presence uh, uh, switch or whatever. Okay, I'm going to load this guy here. I'm going to try to load it, but you see you can't just push it up there. You have to actually push in on the uh, magazine release to get it up in there. And here is one safety here. That's in the firing position now. Now it's in safe. And there is another one here. It's in firing and now it's in safe. So let's see if we can actually cock this. Okay, and see so you can't cock that. It actually has to be in fire. Okay, that is actually in fire before you can rack the slide. Now I am doing this straight out the box haven't read the directions on this just fumbling around with it trying to learn it uh, as best I can and as I said uh, it is somewhat unintuitive not necessarily counterintuitive just unintuitive um, you really have to just work at it it's like I said I've never really encountered a pistol like this before with so many uh, so-called safety features on there and this is empty and we can can we? No, let me see here. Let's do that. And oh, can't even drop the magazine without putting back in safe. So, as I said, there's just too many moving parts on this for me to seriously consider this as any kind of uh, self defense weapon. Um, any weapon can be used for self defense, but uh, some are some lend themselves to such a role more readily than others and this one in my opinion does not lend itself readily to that role okay and that's the three inch barrel and it came with a some gun lubricant a spare magazine with a um, 
finger extension there. Alrighty. And this is another tool. I'll have to read up on that and see exactly what that does. The instruction manual and they have a nice embroidered patch there so that's really nice. Okay this looks like a cleaning rod. You have some cleaning patches. A bore brush. Sorry about the arm. And two other cleaning tools. And this is, um, I can't think of the name for it right now. Um, but two other cleaning tools. And of course, the case itself. Oh, yeah. And also some earplugs. And this was very inexpensive. Um, I mean, I think I paid probably all told for this kit. Uh, I think a little under $200. I got it through uh, Bud's Gun Shop and had it sent to a local uh, retailer uh, gun gun shop in my area and I picked it up from there but I just bought this just to uh, just to see um, <laughs> Phoenix is um, I guess you can say that they're a, um, a small company and they uh, specialize in inexpensive weapons. If you look on uh, Wikipedia or something like that, uh, you can find out a little bit more about them. And kind of interestingly, uh, for the Phoenix Arms HP-22, uh, as far as use is concerned, they claim that uh, due to the low recoil and low cost, they are often recommended for, by, for use by women for self-defense or who are new to the shooting hobby. Uh, the relatively low cost also recommends them to lower income families. Uh, as far as people who are new, uh, new shooters, uh, it probably wouldn't be bad. It is a 22 caliber, so you're not going to get, uh, they're not going to get uh, overly intimidated by recoil. Uh, they may become frustrated by the number of safety features, particularly once they get used to using it. Um, now, for somebody who has uh, any experience using them, I, I would think that this is just, just totally unreasonable, uh, the number of safety features that are involved with this thing. Um, but for a new shooter, it, it might be good, as it is inexpensive. Uh, I've seen other reports on it that it is accurate. And um, that's one of the reasons why I bought it, because it's inexpensive. Just wanted to see. Uh, exactly what this thing was all about and I can't say that I'm uh, satisfied or dissatisfied with it yet uh, but it does have some shortcomings mainly in the number of safety features and the steps that you have to take in order to load it and unload it uh, to load the magazines and release the magazines and um, just too many steps too complicated um, particularly too complicated for what it is but uh, in any case this is my uh, newest acquisition the Phoenix Arms HP 22A 22 long rifle small not particularly light but it is an interesting it is a very in my in my opinion as far as overall looks it is somewhat of a handsome uh, pistol um, the fit and finish on there may leave a little bit be a uh, little bit to be desired. Uh, let me see here. Let me just oh, can't do that, right? Gotta ram that back up in there. Oops. Got to make sure that it's in fire. Oops. Okay, and it doesn't appear to be any kind of uh, slide catch. Up oh, there you go. I guess that works as a slide catch. Yep. There you go. But as I said, uh, I'm going to need to uh, sit down, read the directions on this guy, and uh, learn a little bit more about it before I actually take it out to the range. Uh, any of you guys who out there, guys, gals, who actually own this, let me know what you think about it. Let me know how it's performed for you. 
Um, let me know if you've encountered any problems with it. And also set me straight if you think I'm wrong about this being used as a or useful as a um, self-defense weapon. You know, I have my opinion and um, I can be wrong. And uh, if you think that I am wrong, please let me know. But, uh, you know, just from the different things that you actually have to do in order to get this thing loaded and unloaded, you know, just just having to, you know, if you're in the heat of battle and, you, you know, you're ready to, you know, Loot another magazine and you're just trying to drop it like you do any other one. And, but oh, I gotta put this on there. Now I can drop it. Let me ram it. Oh, no, I forgot to do this. Oh, no, I gotta do this. You know, it's just too many steps. So uh, just let me know what you think about it. All right. Think about it and my opinion. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.